UCI getting a win in their lone exhibition tune-up coach and no Travis Souza, Mamadou Njai and Mike Best suiting up tonight but 13 guys on the roster all getting on the floor and pretty much a next man up attitude and for the most part everybody playing pretty well and doing their part. Yeah that's right I thought everybody competed tonight and that's what I expect to have in this team I mean, we got 16 guys on our roster and all of them can play they all bring something and so I was happy to see that uh, that we did what you said, especially in the first half, setting the tone defensively. This right. team had played and scored a really high number um, in their last exhibition in the first half. So I thought we were ready for them. And, uh, you know, we didn't play perfectly, but we played well. And I expect us when we play well to be able to, you know, beat teams of any style. And uh, this was an unusual style for us to face. There are not that many teams in Division One play that way, but it was good for us to, uh, to experience this. And, and to come out with a win tonight. You talk about that style, the constant full court pressure, but you guys, again, this is your first time on the floor at an exhibition game, but to see that style, you guys seem pretty prepared for that. I mean, that's our job, to be prepared for stuff like that. So um, we have a veteran team. That's one of the places where our experience should show up. I mean, there, there shouldn't be a lot of things with this group this year that we haven't seen somewhere along the line before. And that's one of the reasons why we're hopeful that we can be successful. Um, I was, you know, I'll, I'll tell you the one of the things I saw, I've seen before. I wasn't really happy with anything. Our intensity level was great. Start second half with our first group, but um, it, it's almost good that it happened like that in a game like this because we know that when we focus on things with this group, they'll get better, and uh, that's what we've got to continue to do. Is we've got to continue to get better. And I am pleased that we had a balanced effort, right. scoring from a lot of different guys. When a game's played that way, it's it's got to happen that way. So. That should be a strength of this team. Seven guys in double figures in total for you, so a lot of spreading the wealth there. Shadman comes in Friday as you kick off the regular season officially. I know that's a program you really respect to get things going. Yeah, you know, that's a non-D1 game for us uh, like this one is. But, yeah, I do have a lot of respect for programs at that level, and we're going to have to be ready to play against Chapman. We played them last year. They gave us a good game. I think they have everybody back also, so I expect them to be improved. Uh, they'll be a, mo a, a little more of a traditional team than what we face tonight, so we'll see some different things. You know, tonight we didn't get to see a whole lot of um, some types of execution offensively, and I'm hoping we can be much better with our offensive execution with this team this year. And I think the next game will give us a chance, hopefully, to see that we can be better. Uh, but right. we're always going to be a defensive team. And right. I thought tonight we did a good job moving between our – man-to-man uh, -man defense and our zone defense. We knew they were going to shoot a ton of threes. I thought many, many possessions, we did a great job in our zone of being there for the three-point shooters and gaining some advantage by playing that way. So uh, this is a good opening night. I thought we had a great crowd. I mean, yeah. Our student crowd was outstanding. And uh, I hope that we can build on, on that crowd as this season goes on because I think this team deserves um, our university community support. And we got that tonight. Coach, congrats on the one. We'll see you Friday. All right, thanks, man.